is what's happening. It's a beautiful day here at Maroney Harley Davidson. We're here with Cody and Jimmy Maroney. He's a third generation shop owner here. And uh, he just got back from a spin on this 2020 Sportster. All that I can say is, wow, this thing's a huge improvement over what they used to be. Uh, it's now a rubber mounted engine like the FXRs and the Dynas. It feels much more planted and it's a lot smoother. So let me pull it over, I'll do a full review on the bike for you. This is as good as it gets in a 2020 1200 cc Sportster. Brand new. I guess, I think it's really smooth. It doesn't feel like a Sportster anymore because it's, it actually weighs 50 pounds more than, than the rigid mount one that we have back at the shop, the one I tested yesterday. And there's no vibration from the motor because it's now rubber mounted. Is that a counterbalance motor or is it just... No, real? not counterbalance, it's rubber mounted. It feels like a counterbalance motor. You, it, it's, yeah. Like I said, more like a Dyna or FXR. The other thing I noticed like when we were reviewing it before I wrote it is a lot of the things that Harley-Davidson riders do Harley took note, it's already got the quarter cafe bearing on there. It's already got the 12 inch hay hangers on it. It's got the custom saddle men style saddle. And it's got a beautiful custom paint tab on it. It's all blacked out. So really, and it has the gas emulsion shocks. There's, there's like three grand worth of stuff most guys would add onto a bike. The custom paint job shocks, bars, the, the fork protectors, the mag wheels. It's got the Michelin tires on there. Everything's done. All you gotta do is put a set of uh, slip fit mufflers on there right yeah. up in the sunset. Yeah, it's very easy to make a, a few extra ponies out of them. They're still a great daily rider. You know, a lot of people oversee a sports here for being the girls bike and I just I laugh at them because they just don't know how to have as much fun. This is uh, way faster than, than, uh, than uh, the old sports and it's Absolutely. It's, is this faster than, than a big twin in, in a uh, quarter mile? Quarter mile, no. no. I, I would doubt that. It's basic, real easy accessories. Open air cleaner, tuner, and a good exhaust being the weight. To, uh, to a lot of the big twins, yep. you're gonna be close, if not beat them. It comes down to that rider's wrist. I know you guys got a dyno here. They, uh, do. they do dyno tuning. How many horsepower are these putting down? Uh, we've them made up? a couple with uh, with some pretty cool kits. We've uh, built, you know, George uh, Dino George putting his horsepower together with uh, even a few employees. We made some pretty good numbers into the 90s, and you can make 100 horse out of one of these with. And they're, they're uh, light bikes they're too. Light. Right? So as you keep losing weight, power to weight ratio is everything. Uh, if you can keep one of these close to 100 horsepower, there's no twin cam that's touching I'm sorry. One of the other things I wanted to add that really caught my eye on the 2020 is I looked look at the sticker and I was like, wow, <laughs> they, they, they were 12 grand a few years ago. Now you can buy a 1200 Sportster with all these improvements for $99.99. Yep. This reminds me of when I was a kid and they were $39.99. You know, I was like, wow. <laughs> and, you, and you know what? You'll get all your money back when you go to sell it. It's a great investment. They'll take it on a trade-in down the road. Yeah. It's going to hold its value. It's not like a jet bike. As soon as you roll it off the a lot, you're gonna write off 40% of your investment. This is a much better investment. And this engine, we were talking about that earlier. Yeah. This is a racing motor, uh, it has a heritage of racing where it's won more championships than any other and motor ever made. You right? said it's the most winningest motor next to the XR750 that Harley ever made. And if, if you watch anything from X Games to a lot of the races, a lot of the show is, is the hooligan racing, which yeah, is I love very that. enticing. It's awesome. Get out there, buy Tell yourself them what that is. Tell them what that is, hooligan racing is. They buy made yourself a Sportster. Um, you, know, you want to lighten it up, simplify it, and get it race ready. Get rid of the lights. Just make that thing as light as you can, like you would do in the 50s when they were making Sportsters. They were the Sportster. You know, it wasn't a girl's bike. It was a, it was that race bike, so you didn't yep. have to cut down a dresser. And they're doing flat track with them, which is where Sportster's heritage really is, is built off of. And racing and heritage is key with Harley Davidson. Yep. Uh, and flat track is the name in their game. We'll, we'll be at Daytona for Bike Week. We will be filming the, the Hooligan Race Series. Do you have any riders competing in that? I, in I may actually. I'm trying to get a guy to race in the X Games on my bike. I'm, I'm realizing, I guess, the 30s are hitting me harder with business calls. And, and uh, I like to stay safe. And you find a kid with a little more ego. And I, I want to see him do it. So I'm trying to get a kid to the X Games this year. Um, and he's beyond capable. His first race, he's a podium guy. Wow. Uh, he's got the brains and he's got the throttle. So um, I think I'm, I'm pretty excited for it. So you'll see uh, Maroney's Fast Hog. Flat tracker back out in the back out in the, in the mix, which they're not hard to build. Find a bone stock bike, just exhaust, right setup, put that thing out there. Go ride it, still ride it to work if you want to. If you're starting at the front of the bike, yep. uh, you've got the castle aluminum uh, mag right on there. Stick to the beauty mag wheels. Uh, it's, just, it's it's ease, you know. No spokes to adjust, and it's always going to be true. They do a floating rotor uh, on the front of the iron, which uh, it's just a way of the future.
damage or they still stick to the score for 31s like we mentioned. This is the same tire that's on the Dyna Same the tire, line, yeah. Uh, I mean, the Lowrider S. Yep, yep. The Michelin line Scorcher is going to be your softer. Uh, Look at the nubs more, on this thing. Yeah, a little Final more plus, aggressive yeah. for, for your cornering abilities. And the, the front fender, it's got some lightning, 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 uh, light, lightning yeah, holes yeah. in it. It's drilled out. It's got the fork boots on there and it's got the cafe fairing. And do a close up right here. Look at the headlight on this. Yep. That's the same thing they had on the uh, Dyna S. Yep. Um, and you got the blacked out uh, risers. Yeah. Everything's blacked out. They didn't. Sit, they really didn't cut any corners anymore with the blacked out. They uh, they know what the new chrome is, and, and people want it. You were now saying this is more expensive, things. the blacked out one, than the black is more. Well, they make a couple newer models and the soft tail and some of the touring where you can get a chrome package, and, uh, and actually the black package is less than the chrome package. Yeah. Does this have an alarm on it from the factory? From the factory, no, easily can be installed. So. Uh, Basically, uh, oh, one thing I forgot to mention, this gas tank is much larger than what they used to, they used to call them peanut tanks. This is more of like a king tank. It's a 3.3 gallon tank. And this thing gets, not only is your initial cost to buy this bike under 10 grand, 99.99 MSRP, but it gets 50 miles of the gallon. And your insurance and taxes on a bike like this are gonna be a lot less than on a, on a $20,000 or a super bike, like a, um, let's say an R1, you're gonna pay a lot more for insurance. This is considered a safer motorcycle to ride. Um, for a lot of different reasons, but great fuel mileage, completely bulletproof, unlimited aftermarket support. You can go as crazy as you want with this motor. You guys know I have a court date pending for my little <laughs> sh shenanigan on my uh, drag race Sportster there. Um, so try to keep it off-road when you do your racing, but we took a Sportster. I built this for my son and I to go to, uh, to Orange County Raceway in Daytona for Bike Week next year. We're going to try to break the... Uh, 10 second mark on a, on a sports strip powered bike and all we did we took the same bike we stretched the swing arm six inch put some drag racing shocks on it lower the forks put a fork brace on it and put a 1250 big board kit the whole bottom end and transmission was stopped they converted the chain drive so it wasn't a, a, a huge change from from what it came with stock but you can there's so much potential on this but you'll never outgrow the potential of a sportster you might get bored like you do with all bikes everybody changes bikes uh you know, now and then, but you're not going to outgrow because you can go as far as you want power-wise. And these, these, these can be turned into fire-breathing dragons. And you know what? Stocks just opened up stage one, air cleaner and pipes, and you'll be putting down over 75 horse at the rear wheel. At least. And you, you, it's one of them bikes you leave it in the garage and you'll always resort back to it. Yep. You know, I mean, I've got touring bikes, I've got dinos, i got a Texars. You can't help but want a zip to work on the sports wheel once in a while when you just have a, you this, can't not smile when you ride them. Th these bikes also are versatile enough. If you want to put some dual sport tires on this thing, yeah. um, you, if you look back at my channel and you punch in uh, iron head flat tracker or iron head sports, you'll see I was taking these and these sportsers, the older ones, and putting knobby tires on them and doing hill climbing with them. I'm talking stock suspension, just change up the fenders a little bit and put some tires on. They're light enough and small enough you can actually take them off road. I mean, so, they were originally called the Harley dirt bike. Yeah. My grandfather, I got pictures of them racing K models before they were sportsters riding up riverbeds. And you laugh, most people wouldn't do that on a dirt bike now, but they're doing it on Harleys. Uh, Kickstarter, iron, you know, it just, it's just a wild, uh, wild experience and they're capable. We're building a dual sport one as well this winter. And Love that. Just Those a dirt awesome. road runner, just something that makes a dirt road more fun. And if you want to go cross country, change the gear and throw a set of bags and a shield on it and go cross country. It's probably the most versatile motorcycle Harley Davidson's ever made. Would you agree, Junior? I would have to say the easiest way is there's a reason Harley's introduced the Lego toys to our uh, to our whole brand is these are big boy Legos. Pretty much point, big boys toys. If you want to add it, it snaps right on. Big girls toys too. <laughs> so uh, yeah, stay tuned. We've got a few more machines we want to show here at Maroney's Harley Davidson. Pause it. Pause it. Jimmy and I were talking about the evolution of Harley Davidson and how they've, they've simmered it, they centered it down or simmered it down to three major platforms. What are they, Jim? So you've got your Sportster. This one right we're here. We're talking about now. And there's a bunch of different models. There's here. a lot of different Sportsters. They share the same frame. It, it, like we said, it's a multi-fit bike. After that, to get your next step up, call it its big brother, is going to be the Softail. Soft we already tail. talked about that with uh, with the Dyna Low Rep. Softail Lowrider S. It is a bunch of different flavors of this and one. And there's a whole bunch of flavors from standard Lowriders to sport glides to, uh, yeah, there's about five or six different layouts. Uh, and after that, you go to your touring cast. So one the, of the, the most basic popular. frames on, on the, the Sportster, the Softail, and the, the, and the, uh, touring, the touring bikes are all the They're same all frame, but then they can make like five different renditions of them. So you have yeah. like 20 different models, exactly. but three major frames. And the next yes. one we're going to show you is a touring model. That's where the fun begins. 
I really enjoyed yeah, it. No problem. Awesome bike, and uh, next up to the full dresser. So stay tuned, and God bless America.